We're gonna take your Circle CI configuration to the next level here with workflows. And workflows essentially allow you to create a collection of jobs, and then you can run those jobs in various configurations. We have uh, two of our executors here. We have the Docker executor and the machine executor, and they each do their own things really well. And some executors have features that others don't. And let's not forget that we also offer the Mac OS executor where you can build your iOS stuff. So with a regular 2.0 config file, you can only choose one executor and then all of your steps have to run within that executor. But what if you have some steps that run well in one executor and other steps that run well in a different executor? How would you be able to put all of that in the same config.yaml? And the answer to that is workflows. And since workflows are different from builds, they have their own section here in our UI. You can click on workflows and then you can see your workflows. We're gonna look at three different and very simple workflows that are the building blocks for building much more complex workflows. So the first one is a workflow with a single job. So this is almost the same as a regular 2.0 configuration file. We can click on this job and then it'll take us to the build page. And then from here, we can look at the configuration file. How did it know to make this a workflow? This looks like a regular 2.0 file except that the bottom here, we have this workflows key. And we also have a version number that goes along with that workflows key. After you've put the workflows key and the version number, you can go right into defining your workflows. So you can give your workflow a name. I just called mine, my workflow. And then you can define the jobs that will be part of your workflow. And we only have one job up here in our jobs list and it's called build. I have added build to my jobs for this workflow. And that is why we were able to see that job here. Now this is just one job, which is not really interesting for workflows. Workflows is for collections of jobs. So let's look at a parallel workflow. Here we have the workflow run page and you can see that we have two jobs here and they both ran at the same time. So if we click on one of these and we go into the configuration file, we can see that it's not really that much different. All we've done was created a build two and it's very similar to build one. It's exactly the same. But if we wanted to, we could very easily change this to use the machine executor or it could use the Mac OS executor. And we've added build two into our jobs list. And since they are in the list together without any extra configuration, they will run in parallel. So we could have two completely different jobs with different steps and different executors and different images running at the same time. But let's say that we had some process in build two that depended on build one. Well, we could create a sequence and that is the next configuration file that we're going to look at. We have build two here and build two depends on build one. So let's take a look at the configuration file that lets us do that. So you'll notice not much has changed between our two jobs here. All we've added is a requires key to build two and we have put build one in that section. And so now build two will only start once build one has finished successfully. So now we've seen how to run jobs in parallel and how we can run them in sequence. And with those two, you can start to build more complex workflows. So this is the workflow we use on our CircleCI public GitHub repository, which hosts our CircleCI demo workflows. And this is using a combination of sequences and parallel. Now, now, this is really interesting because it shows you the kind of power and flexibility that you'll have with workflows. For instance, in these earlier jobs, you could imagine that you are compiling your React native assets. In one of these parallel jobs, you could be running in the Mac OS executor, running your iOS tests. And in this second parallel job, you could be running in the Docker executor, testing your Android app. And once those both complete, they can be deployed. So workflows give you access to a collection of jobs and each job can have its own execution environment and also its own build steps.
If you like the video, do encourage us by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so you can get notified about more cool videos. If you want to come hang out and have a chat, head on over to the Discuss forum, discuss.circleci.com. And that's it. Thanks for watching.